Finding ways to improve your workflow is key to working smarter. So in this video, I'm sharing some underrated techniques that you should know about. If you've seen my other videos on tips and hacks, you'll know I love uncovering these gems. So let's just dive in. First thing that we are going to talk about is about layering and views. Right now we are in first level and in this project, we don't have any layer, any level under this part. But if you have multiple levels and you want to just check them, you can go to this underlay section and you can just switch this range, base level, top level to the part that you want. If we go to the second level in this part, we can see this lines and all of the objects we have on first level in this part because this underlay section is set on first level for its base and top level for the second level we are going to learn how we can control and manage all of these first of all you can see that we can simply select all of these objects all of these families and walls doors all of these elements if you don't want to do that you can simply go to this part and uncheck this select underlay elements okay right now if you hover your mouse over these parts you see that you cannot like select them these are grids we have them continuously to the last layer on all of our levels but uh, about all of these other elements and objects we cannot select them anymore if you don't want to see them you can just simply switch this range level base level to none and they will disappear okay now for controlling these settings for controlling its graphic we can go to manage section additional setting and in this part we have this halftone underlay okay here we have two sections underlay and halftone in this part, we can control the weight and pattern of all of these lines. For example, in this part, if we put this on 4 and for its pattern, let's select the dash line, this part. I'm going to click on OK and you see that all of these sections are on the dashed line. If you change this scale in here, you will see them on different sizes. Okay, all of the elements, all of the objects are on this pattern. And if we go back to 1 by 100 and uncheck this thin line, you can see the weight of all of these lines too. Okay, I'm going to go back to this part, to this half tone underlay. And in this part, you can control the brightness. If you want them to be darker, if you want to see these lines on like uh, sharp and darker colors you can increase this value to any value you want but still you cannot select them and if you want to see them on lighter colors you can put this on here as much as you want and if you click on ok you will see just a shadow of all of these sections now if you want to go back to the default setting you had you can just go back here again and click on this reset click on ok and everything will be on half tone again so the second option that we are going to work on is about the revisions i'm going to go back to this part let's close this second level i'm going to click on here and create a new sheet let's select b and in this part if you go to view section you will see this revision schedule i'm going to click on this part and let's just keep all of these default setting in here i just want to bring this revision sequence back to the fields in this part and click on ok now we have this revision table in this part and we can simply add it to our sheet for that i'm going to simply go back to my family in here we have some informations already information for the project for the views the scale like this north line some place for adding note and in this part we want to add the schedule okay i'm going to go to project browser in this part we can see this revision schedule and i'm going to just simply drag it to this part let's place it in here okay this way you can simply add your revision schedule if you want to make it bigger you can move it to any part you want i have added this note section in this part i'm going to delete it and let's move it up in here 
Okay, this way we can have this revision schedule on our sheet. If you want to add some sections, some rows to this part, you need to go back to this revision schedule. And in here, I'm going to click on this part, go to appearance section. And in this section, you see this height is on variable. I'm going to switch this to user defined and click on OK. Now, if you go back to here, we can already see some rows in here. And if you want to add even more, you can just simply drag this down to anywhere you want. OK, this way you can have a perfect revision schedule. I'm going to talk about this revision schedule in future videos, so I'm not going to explain any more about this section. But if you also have any other suggestion for our future videos, you can just simply comment it down below. I'm going to go back to my project in this part and let's talk about the third technique. If I select different walls in here, for example, these exterior walls, this part, this one, Mm, this is like a curtain panel and I'm going to also select this one in here You can see this varies right for its length and area You can also see this varies in here. This means that you have selected multiple things in here multiple walls different types of walls if I select this furniture this door you see this varies in here too and also in this part their marks are different you probably see this on your schedules too if you create like different um, types different families next to each other with different permits you will see this section you can change this varies too if you go to this part and go to this multiple values indication you can simply switch it to display custom text and instead of varies you can for example go with different okay if i click on okay and if i again select some balls in this part you can see the same different that we had add to that part this is the difference and these two parts are different too you can change it on your schedule so for example in here let me go to view section and create a schedule for the doors windows families anything we have so i'm going to go with these walls click on ok and in this part i'm going to add the area the count then we can go with the family we can go with an image of that. We can go with links and maybe the type. I think it's enough. Let's also add the width. I'm going to move this family up. After that, we can have the type. Then we have the area. I'm going to move it down in this part. And I think we can also move this countdown to, to here. I'm going to click on OK. Go to this sorting and grouping. I'm going to uncheck this itemize every instance. Switch this to family and click on OK. So now you can see this different in here. You can see this different in all of these sections. This simply means that we have multiple values, multiple sections, multiple types in this part. Okay. There is also another way that you can do and fix this part. I'm going to go to this formatting section. And in this part, you have three options. Use project settings. So it will follow the various section. Display as varies and the different things that we add in this part. If we apply this to here, it won't work. But if you want to check it, I'm going to go to type section and switch this to varies. Uh, for the lengths, we are going to keep it on this part and for this width, we are going to use this display custom text. So I'm going to go to length section. Let's keep it on this and for width, I'm going to switch this to display custom text. And in here, I'm going to add another uh, like text. Maybe we can go with like multiple and i'm going to click on ok again now you can see three different setting three different names for the same like tool for the same like concept so these are different settings that you can use for your projects if you need them thank you so much for watching until now if you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time